Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the door switch in your dryer, be sure to unplug the power cord. Use a number two square bit or a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws at the back securing the main top. Slide the main top back and lift it up to remove. Next. Unthread the screws, securing the control panel mounting brackets to the frame. With the screws removed, lift the panel up and use a small flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tab to release the wire connector. Open the dryer door and unthread the two screws on the front panel, securing the lint filter housing cover. Lift and support the dryer. Then unthread the bottom front panel mounting screws. With the screws unthreaded, remove the support and unthread the top front panel mounting screws. Lift the panel up and out. Disconnect the door switch wire connector to fully remove the front panel. Now disconnect the wires from the door switch. Open the dryer door and depress the retaining tabs to release the old switch from the panel. Install the new door switch by snapping it into place in the front panel. Connect the wires to the terminals. Reinstall the front panel by first reconnecting the door switch wire connector. Now hook the front panel tabs on the slots in the frame. Replace the panel mounting screws on top. Lift and support the dryer to replace the bottom mounting screws. Thread and tighten the two screws to secure the lint filter housing cover to the front panel. Connect the wire connector to the user control board. Reposition the control panel and replace the screws to secure the brackets. Realign the main top and slide it into place. Rethread the screws in the back. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and your dryer should be ready for use.